welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Derek Welker, and today we'll be discussing some tips when upgrading to the latest version of SOLIDWORKS or even switching machines. Upgrading to the latest version of SOLIDWORKS is always so exciting, but there are some things that you absolutely want to do during or after the upgrade procedure. After using SOLIDWORKS for many years, I have specific shortcuts set up within the software, and I hate changing them when I get a new machine or run through a clean uninstall during the upgrade. Before you upgrade or switch to another machine, you will want to run the copy settings wizard. It can be found on the resources page of the task pane, within the tools dialog, or right within the, the window start menu. Once the wizard is open, you will want to save your settings and move on to the next page to specify which settings you would like to save. All settings are checked by default, but just note that the system options will save the file locations you have specified. Some of your file locations during an upgrade may get replaced or changed to a newer version. Importing these settings will revert back to an old location that will need to be updated. We will discuss this in a minute. Once you select to finish the operation, it will save the file and you can now import it into the new version using the same procedure as saving except by restoring settings. Let's go into the file locations to show you what I was just talking about. Selecting to edit all will bring up a full list of our file locations. Notice all of the ones that are still looking at the 2017 version. To change this, we will run a find replace and find all of the 2017 file locations and replace them with the 2018 version. This typically works with all of the standard SOLIDWORKS default locations. Please note if, the, if you have any saved templates or files in those old locations to move them to the new 2018 folder or save them in a directory outside of SOLIDWORKS. This is recommended so that during an install or uninstall, SOLIDWORKS does not remove any of your custom files. Speaking of settings, 2018 has added much more user interface tools like the 12 mouse gesture wheel for example. This is a good time to take a look at the new options available and maybe make some adjustments. Once I upgrade to a newer version, I like to make sure that my machine is ready to run all the new tools by updating my graphics driver. To do so, I open up the SOLIDWORKS RX tool and head straight for the Diagnostics tab. This shows me if my graphics driver is up to date or even supported, along with some other things. In this case, the machine that I'm using, there is not a specific match for in the SOLIDWORKS database, but I can check manually by following the link here. While we are in the RX tool, we might as well check out the rest of the diagnostic tool to see if we are missing anything else. My SOLIDWORKS backup directory has not been set, so this would be a good time to do so. Using the Diagnostics tab is a great way to double check some of the things that you might not think about when updating to a newer version or switching machines. Hopefully these tips can help you through the upgrade process or switching machines. Thank you for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. See you next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.